Hi everyone, Arlene here. Today I am making a project using the stamp set Carols of Christmas. And I'm using also the thinlets that go with this set, which is the Card Front Builder thinlets. And this is just some, right here is just a piece of magnet. It's actually for a business card that you can apply your business card to and then put it on, you know, give it to people at, um, to put on their whatever, like a refrigerator or something. But I just, um, somebody gave me quite a big supply of them. So I've just put, um, there's adhesive on one side, of course. So I just put that into my stamp case. And this is how I store the thinlets that go with the stamp set, the corresponding stamp set. So what I've done here with this card today, I'm making, I'm, I use the, this thinlet, which has the set of the two trees. And then I also use this little silhouette of a deer, which is really cute. So I use those. I ran those through my Big Shot. I used the old olive for the trees. And then I used the the black for the deer. I just basically wanted to just make it like a silhouette. So, which is why I used the black. Um, I also used the Peace on Earth, which I will show you here. This is, or I'm sorry, the Deck the Halls. I used the Deck the Halls on this one. It's late right now, very late right now here at the house. Okay, the other dies that I use, which I know I've used them quite a bit I, because I love them, they're so versatile, is the stitched shapes. These come in a set of 12, and there's four different sizes each of um, the ovals, the squares, and the circles. So these are the four sizes of the circles on this thinlet set, and I use the two largest right here. So you can tell from the deck, the halls, I used the, the biggest circle. I just ran that through my big shot. And then I've got a smaller piece on Whisper White. Both of these are on Whisper White cardstock that I ran through for the next smallest size on that. Okay. And then for the base of the card, I used the, um, what color did I use? The cherry cobbler. This is the cherry cobbler. So it's a 12 by 12. And what I did is I cut it at five inches, so it was a five by 12 card. And then I scored it at four inches and eight inches. So the card folds in thirds like this. And then you can see here, there's this circle. Again, I used the second small, the second largest, the, stitch, the stitched shapes, I can never say that, sorry, um, thinlet in here and I cut that. That's how I got that opening there. But you can also use like a two inch, um, like a, a circle punch if you want to or the different sizes of that that will work just as well, too Okay, and then what I took is this is some of the designer series paper from the Merry Little Christmas designer series paper and I just cut that this size is just like a fourth of an inch smaller than the front of the base card so When you fold this in thirds, this is going to be four by five inches right here and then this one is three and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. And I just laid that out. So how I got that to make that circle fit in there, I actually, I had the dimension, or I had this piece of paper cut, and I had the cardstock cut as well. And then I took the largest die and I cut that first. And then I was able to overlay and run it through my Big Shot with the smaller size. And I just opened this paper up like that and then ran the whole thing through my, through the Big Shot. And then it cut it like that. So I was able to gauge where I wanted it to go. So since I've got them here, let's go ahead and put this pattern paper on top of the, the card base. So I have lost this piece of paper like three times before I started the video. It's really late here, guys. Okay. So let's set that aside. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to work with this white piece of whisper white circle here. And I'm going to just glue the trees onto that white piece of paper. Oh, one thing I wanted to do too first. This is the Wink of Stella. It's the clear. And if you've never worked with the Wink of Stella marker before, well, it is like a marker. But on the inside of it, you have, it's the liquid is held here and it's just got a, like a liquid glitter and it just, it will give you a very, just a very slight touch of glitter. Just a little bit of shimmer there. 
So I just wanted to just quickly go over just the edges. We went and got our um, cut down our Christmas tree this morning, so it reminds me of all the snow. We just got some snow last night up in the mountains, especially. So there was a nice little little bit of snow when we went and got our tree today. Okay, so I'm going to try to bring that up so you can see just that little bit of glitter there. Just enough. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put some fast fuse on. We're going to adhere that to the card. So you see how there's a little bit sticking out here? I'm just going to trim that up with some scissors. I don't want really anything hanging over the edge of it. Just like that, okay. All right, and then, this is where those little mini Stampin' Dimensionals come in really handy because you've got this little deer here and it is really small. I think I might just even need one. I might even need to trim that. I want them to pop out a little bit. So let's try this and see how that works. him in the top there. Perfect. Okay. All right, so now I want to put my circle right directly inside so that it's centered so that when you, the opening of the circle on the top layer, of course it will be just like right inside there. You'll be able to see it. So Let's see how this plays out here. Because once you lay that fast, fast fuse down, it wants to stick because it's a pretty strong adhesive. I think it's going to work like that. Good. Looks good. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to open it up. This is going to be the inside of the card. And then your sentiment that you, I've got here that I've stamped. And that can go place it really just anywhere. You've got deck the halls. Okay, you've got room to write something, a quick little card, and then the front of it, they would look and see this, they open it up, and then the trifle card, deck the halls. And that is your card for today. So you guys, thanks for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you so much and have a great day.